Praise the Lord. Oh, what a drive. What a drive. What a drive. What a drive. Sounds like a drive. Sounds like a song. What a drive. What a drive. What a drive. 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 What a drive. What a drive. What a drive. 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 What a drive. People be in such a hurry to 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 cut you off and driving crazy at four four thirty in the morning. Uh, eight lanes of highway. I mean, I mean, in six lanes. And I mean, how how much room do you need to be a reckless driver? <laughs> I don't know what kind of storm you got raging in your mind and hard, but uh, I'm doing 80. So you got to be doing 90, 95, 100. You got all these lanes. And you got to cut me off. I'm over here minding my business. And some of y'all guilt of this. You're some of y'all cut off school buses filled with children and have a child or children on a school bus. Watch this as I leave this alone. Storms. Storms are nothing more than the transportation of our Father in heaven, the creator of the caterpillar, mm. and the father of the believer. Storms are uh, our Father's means of testing and not just transportation, but storms are our Father's means of telling him who, who, who's ready, you know, ready or not, here I come. A storm can arise at any time, but more than anything, we have to take shelter before and during the storm. So many think that the storms of life is our Father's means uh, of punishment, but, uh, we, you know, you can't live without rain. Mm. You can't live without the hurricane. You can't live without the tsunami, the earthquake. Uh, 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 the severe thunderstorm warning, watch. Uh, 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 we, we need all storms of nature, supernatural and natural, hmm. in order to push us along, in order to feed into uh, our lives, in order to prove us and to prune us. Uh, just like Mother Earth, storms are, are nothing more than our Father's means of causing the, the tree to fall down where he needs peat moss. A, a, a storms are nothing more than where our father would have water and wind to be as he would have it to be. The storm is no threat to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He told the storms in the book of Mark to uh, shut up, peace, be still. Our father tells us that uh, to be still uh, and to know that I am God. He tells us uh, 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 trouble don't last always. A storm a storm is raging and somebody's minding hard right now and you and you need to take shelter. It's too late to take shelter when you're out in the tornado. It's too late to find a boat when you're in the flood. Mm. It, it, it's, it's too late to uh, 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 to try to take cover when you've been uh, hit upside the head by a two by four traveling at a, 150 miles an hour in a storm. It, it's, too, it's too late to, to try to get indoors when you're outdoors when the storm hit. Uh, see, so many try to do things in the storm other than batten down the hatches and hold the gods and changing hand. He's, after all, he says, I'll never leave it nor forsake you. But so many people take the storm as a punishment. I mean, there are self-induced and self-inflicted storms, things we do to ourselves, just like a self-inflicted gunshot wound. But a child afflicted and a man uh, inflicted is two different things. A child afflicted and a woman inflicted are uh, two different things as I leave this alone. The storm, the storm, the storm is nothing more than our Father's means of testing. Our Father's means of traveling into your life. Our Father's means of transportation to and out of your life. She, uh, 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 we, we want God, our Father, to ride in on our life on a lottery ticket. But he might ride in on your life with the death of mom, the death of dad. The death of a child. He might write in, write in on your life with poverty or of financial, uh, social, economic, uh, social problems. Uh, he might write in uh, on your life with, uh, in a, with a baby or a stillborn child, cancer or heart arrhythmia, uh, a fibroid tumors, a brain tumor. I don't know, but uh, our Father, He chooses the means and modes of transportation that He would use to get our attention. Even a burning bush experience as I leave this alone. So the storms, the storms, uh, don't get mad at the storm. Just hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand, as the songwriter says, build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's 
unchanging hand. As I leave this alone, we have to hold to his hand. Yes, we do. Um, if you're going to cry, uh, cry to the Lord. Help me, Lord. We must understand. That it's not nice to fool with Mother Nature. You, you can't get away from Father Time. And we are in the auspice and in, in the eye of the all seeing eye of God. As I leave this alone, um, we cannot fight in the storm or battle the rain or stop the wind. Help me, Lord. And uh, we have to take, take us still. A steel in a chill pill and sit it down. Help me, Lord. Mm. So many of us try to do everything but sit still and chill. A pill didn't get you in this situation. And a pill can't get you out. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Don't let go of the unchanging hand of God our Father. If you believe in God or not, he still exists all by himself. If you believe in God or not, he's still God. He receives all the praise on purpose. As I leave this alone, the storms of life gonna blow us to the left, gonna blow us to the right, gonna blow us down, gonna let us down, gonna throw us down, gonna spin us around. But regardless, hold to the base. Hold to the base of the eternal tree. Hold to God's unchanging hand. I don't care how much the winds of life blow you, the winds of catastrophe and, and, and disease and demoniatic in, uh, experiences and, 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 and infusion. I don't care how much the winds of life blow you this way and that way and, and the divorce and demise and depression and disease and downtrodden. I don't care. Hold to God's unchanging hand as I leave this alone. After all, the storm is nothing more than our Father's means and modes of transportation in and out of our lives. I've learned more from failure than I've learned from success. And more than anything, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Mm. I've learned to trust in God through it all. God bless you and God keep you. It's my prayer. If you believe in God or not, he is still God, our Father and Creator. All by himself the storm awaits you don't be fearful it's a tailor-made valiant storm at the same time wear it well wear it well peace